hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel plan 3d tutorial and i am making this video after a very long time as i was busy in some work due to some personal reasons so this video is about the slope piping uh, part 2 if you haven't watched the part 1 please watch the part 1 and come back to watch the part 2 and this part 2 is about tolerances in slope piping and how to modify those tolerances you'll get to know about tolerances at the end of this video so let us begin this video without wasting any more time so to begin with i need some three equipments so that it will be easy for me to explain so before that i'll just delete this pipes oh sorry okay i'll copy the equipment from my equipment file which I had already created before in for the previous videos so I guess this is that file I'll just open it and copy it copy it with the base point I hope you know the dis difference between normal copying and like uh, copying with the base point in base point we give the coordinates from where you want to take like, take the reference before copying and while pasting you just enter the same coordinates so that it comes and sit on the same point from where you had copied 0 comma 0 comma 0 enter so I'll just put it in the front view Okay, for this I need three equipments and I'll copy it side by side by changing the UCS first, UCSV and next copy, copy, suppose the distance of 5000, you may, uh, if you want you can just forward, fast forward some of the stuff before I start, this is just a basic thing which I'm getting ready to explain you about the piping, so I'll just place it to the same location, sorry, move to 10,000, okay, enter, and I'll just delete one equipment from here okay so we have three equipments I hope you have watched the first part and you know how to do the slope piping so I'll just click on this slope and give some value like three I want okay two degree slope and change this to a spec carbon steel 150 this is a default spec and I want to draw a line a slope line which connects all these three nozzles uh, I have to change this type of nozzle as well on this see this is because this is uh, this is in European standard so I want to change it to a semi 150 select and close okay I should have done that before copying the equipments but never mind I'll just change it to 150 for all okay so done so I'll just save it okay so my file is saved so let me just root a pipe from here okay okay see you can see that I am getting a sloped pipe not a normal pipe because my slope is on so I'll just drop it somewhere here end it and next uh, what I'll do I'll just join these pipes See, it has joined but there is some angle in the vertical pipe as well this is the tolerance which I am like which we are gonna discuss about okay so next yes so let us check what is the angle of this tolerance I mean of this vertical pipe uh, for this I'll just need a line for reference here and here it's two degree because we have selected a vertical uh, that is the pipe is perpendicular to this line as this horizontal is two degree so vertical will also be two degree but since this nozzle is at 90 degree that is uh, vertical proper vertical we will get this tolerance so let me change this angle to like three degree so for this I guess I have to increase it by six Okay, 6 by 100 we are getting what 3 degree so I'll just delete this pipe okay except the equipments everything will be deleted 
So let us root this pipe again with an angle of 3 degree. Okay, root pipe. Just root it and drop somewhere there. I'll just confirm you the angle. Let me just put a horizontal line here and a, one more line on along the pipe and angle. See, the angle is 3 degree. Okay, now let me just try to connect it perpendicular. Now it is asking me a layout solution cannot be determined based on the preference parts in the pipe specification. This may result in the use of cutback elbows or disconnected pipe layout. That is, if it is an elbow, it will cut back the elbow to connect the pipe or or if it is not able to do that, there might be a disconnection or a leak between the two parts. And the next thing it is asking, which, which is the main point of this video is, this will try to connect with tolerance and may fail to find a pipe root. So let me select this tolerance if it accepts. No, it is not accepting. I hope many of you have faced this error in your daily tasks if you are working on this plan 3D. So let us learn how, what is that error and how to probably like resolve it in a technical way. So my pipe is not getting connected. Let me try here once more. Uh, let me see if I can connect it somewhere near point. No. So what's happening here? I'll just show you. For this, we have to go to our project. Project root. How do you go to that root? Right click, just open the file of any file and just go to your project settings or not project settings i mean the project folder this is my project tool test and in this if you see there is one file default connector config just open that file let's open it it opens in notepad or any other uh, editor you can see and in this if you see uh, you don't have to worry about the coding you just have to see slope tolerance see this joint name pipe bend slope tolerance we have three so what is our part if you see here it is a butt weld type of connection so we'll go here joint name is butt weld and what is the slope see slope tolerance here is mentioned is three so if you see this is three so it is taking whatever the value it should be in below 3 so for 3 it isn't taking but before that we had done for 2 degree slope it did accept so let me see if I want it for for a greater value like for 3 or maybe 4 so I'll just change this slope tolerance to 5 so it has to accept any value uh, below 5 so make sure it is in the butt weld save this file and close it come back to your project so before that to imp so that uh, those changes reflect in your project what you have to do is close all the files in fact close the project or AutoCAD I mean plan 3d and reopen it or else you have to just go to some other project and again shift back to your uh, the project you are working on So now my, my changes will work. So I'll just go to the same file, pipe root, slope piping. Yep, this is the same file. See, now this is the same pipe, which is three degree, and this is also three degree. So what I'll do now is delete this. Okay, I'll just delete this flange as well. And next, let's see if it gets connected perpendicular. See, it is getting connected now because we have increased the tolerance of the pipe, like the tolerance which the uh, software has to accept. But but you have to make sure that you do not increase this uh, uh, like this tolerance way high so that it is practically impossible. See, if you just give the tolerance of five degree. But when you go on the site, that is not possible. So that will be a problem in construction. So you have to make sure that it is under the standards. Probably below three is way better. 
that is the default thing so you should be like you can work below 3 itself so now let me change like I had given like below 5 right so let me see if it is if working for 4 degree I'll just delete this pipes entire line number delete I don't want this as well these lines delete so I'll just make it from 8 okay not 8 I want a 4 degree slope that is below 5 so next go ahead drop it somewhere just checking the angle for your reference I know that it is 4 degree but for your good understanding I'll just check the angle done it is 4 degree so let me see if the connection goes well perpendicular see it gets connected with an angle of 4 degree before it wasn't accepting even for 3 degree now it is accepting for 4 degree as well so now finally let us try for the 5 degree angle that is the maximum which we have mentioned in our connector uh, connector file so let me just increase it to 5 and route it and connect see it is not connecting because the value which we mention in that file connector file the, the tolerance will be below that as per this see if I try like this as well it doesn't connect so whatever the value we enter the tolerance will be below that so it doesn't connect so I hope uh, like you understood the tolerance what are tolerance in the slope piping and how to alter those tolerance I repeat that the tolerance should be a practical value which can be implemented in the site in a real life in a real construction site so after that you're good to go to model your slope piping okay so before I end this video I'll just show you once again about the connector file so if you open that see now we have we had edited for the butt weld in the same manner we have other connections as well like mixed butt weld in that you can edit the tolerances in that you can edit the slope tolerance we have the offset tolerance then if you go to the other joint that is the socket weld you can see here the angle is um, where is the angle ah, 0.1 see for socket it is very less you know that it is very difficult to do the slope like the tolerances in uh, socket weld which is the pipe goes inside the the connection and in the same way the threaded connection it is also 0.1 so that is good so for different types of connection you can alter the slope tolerance so guys uh, let me know if I have missed anything in the slope piping which you want to learn so that I can make the part and if I get to know something new about the slope piping I'll definitely add this in the the series of slope piping so guys this was about slope piping part 2 tolerances in slope piping if you have learned something good in this video make sure you give a like to the video subscribe to my channel and share this videos with your friends who are learning plan 3d and about piping so I'll meet you in the next video till then Take care and goodbye.